After over a year of appeals to the Biden administration, it appears that President Zelensky's request is being fulfilled. The United States appears to be poised to send MGM-140 Army TACMS missiles to Ukraine. During a recent meeting with his Ukrainian counterpart, President Joe Biden reportedly assured Kyiv of their long-standing request for the Army Tactical Missile Systems, known as Army TACMS. This was first reported by U.S. broadcaster NBC News. Ukrainian President Zelensky did not answer directly when asked about the NBC reports on Army TACMS, but he noted that the U.S. was the biggest single supplier of weaponry to Ukraine. Many details regarding Washington's commitment to Army TACMS remains unclear. The Biden administration has not publicly disclosed the timing of missile delivery or the quantity it intends to supply. However, reports indicate that the system will soon be in Ukrainian hands. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Army TACMS could help Ukraine inflict massive pain on Russia. Let's get started. The U.S. Army website states an Army TACMS is designed for deep attack of enemy second echelon forces. Army TACMS is a surface-to-surface -surface missile (SSM) manufactured by the U.S. defense company Lockheed Martin. It's 13 feet or 4 meters in length. 24 inches or 610 millimeters in diameter and weighs 3,690 pounds or 1,670 kilograms. Powered by solid propellant and depending on the variant, it can reach targets up to 190 miles or about 300 kilometers. Army TACMS is a 24-7 all-weather weapon and it uses inertial with GPS-aided guidance. It can attain speeds in excess of Mach 3 and can reach an altitude of about 50 kilometers or 31 miles. Army TACMS is estimated to have a cost of $1 million per unit. The primary launch platforms for Army TACMS are the M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System MLRS, and the M142 HIMARS which can be loaded with two or three of these missiles at a time, respectively. An Army TACMS launch container has a lid patterned with six circles, like a standard MLRS rocket lid, but contains only one missile. The identical pattern makes it more challenging for enemy intelligence to single it out as a high-value target. Due to its ballistic nature and high speeds of more than Mach 3, during the terminal phase of flight, Army TACMS is difficult to intercept when compared to other types of missiles, like subsonic air-breathing cruise missiles. The first use of the Army TACMS in combat was during Operation Desert Storm in 1991, where 32 of the missiles were fired from the M270 MLRS. During Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003, more than 450 missiles were fired. As of early 2015, over 560 Army TACMS missiles had been fired in combat. So it's a well-tested and matured weapon. Ukrainian forces are already familiar with using the Guided Multiple Launch Rocket System GMLRS, with HIMARS, so there won't be much of a learning curve for using Army TACMS. Army TACMS has several variants, which have different types of payload – submunition warhead, unitary warhead, etc. Certain variants, like the M57s with their 500-pound unitary warhead, can strike targets as far as 186 miles or 300 kilometers away, surpassing the 155-mile range of the Western Range Storm Shadow slash Scalp EG air-launched cruise missiles that Kyiv received from the UK and France. This variant is suitable for taking out hardened targets. The M39 Army TACMS variant, which was used in Desert Storm and Operation Iraqi Freedom, only has a maximum range of around 100 miles, or 160 kilometers. But that's double the strike envelope of GMLRS used by Ukraine. 
The M39 is also packed with 950 anti-personnel and anti-material APAM M74 bomblets. The submunitions are released and dispersed mid-flight over an area. So this variant is not suitable for destroying fortified structures, but can be very useful in disabling Russian air defense systems, surface-to-surface -surface missile systems, and parked aircraft. M39A1 Block 1A has 300 APAM bomblets and a range of 186 miles or 300 kilometers. Reports indicate that the U.S. has around 1,500 Army TACMs in its possession, 364 of which are APAM carrying variants. It's likely that Ukraine will receive one of the APAM carrying versions, although quantity could be limited. Even a modest supply of 10 to 20 Army TACMs could prove valuable for Ukraine, allowing them to target high-value objectives situated deep within enemy territory. However, the smaller the quantity provided, the more constrained the potential impact. Utilizing Army TACMs carrying APAMs could serve several strategic objectives for Ukraine. One primary goal is to disrupt the Russian military supply lines in Crimea limiting their ability to sustain operations. Additionally, Kyiv could use these missiles to inflict significant damage on Moscow's artillery, a task that cluster rockets are also capable of achieving. For fortified targets, Kyiv already has Storm Shadow and Scalp EG that carry a powerful two-stage warhead that can penetrate hardened structures. Army Tecum's higher speed and quicker launch sequence make it invaluable against time-sensitive targets, which can be hard for Storm Shadow and Scalp EG to neutralize. For an ALCM like Storm Shadow, an aircraft needs to be in the skies first, whereas Army TACMs can simply be launched from HIMARS or M270 MLRS without much preconditions. The Kremlin has noted this news. It said U.S. supplies of long-range Army TACMs and Abrams tanks to Ukraine would not change the situation on the battlefield. Specifically about Army TACMs, Kremlin spokesperson Peskov said, The Americans continue to increase their direct involvement in this conflict, but of course every time our military improves its skills and technical capabilities to counter these missiles. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.